Hello everybody, welcome back to Young Media. Welcome back to another interesting video about software testing automation. Today we're gonna see and review how we can install JDK and Jenkins. Um, we're gonna have a, a kind of uh, installation tutorial video to see how to get Jenkins working and installed in Windows 10, all right? So we're, we're gonna start with um, downloading, J downloading JDK. Um, I just want to say that today we're gonna we are not gonna cover um, continuous integration and continuous development concepts since I guess that it might be interesting to have another complete or actually another video just to talk about it. Today we're gonna have a kind of installation video and uh, it, that's it all right so uh, we're gonna come to google.com in google chrome and we're gonna look for jdk right now um we're gonna click on the second uh, find which is java sa downloads and we're gonna look for the lts um, version which is the stable one for uh, for this particular moment where uh, when i'm currently um, recording this video so i'm gonna click on jdk download and down here in this website uh, i'm gonna look for uh, the windows x64 inst installer all right i'm gonna click here i'm gonna accept the terms and download jdk over here. let me see how it works right i'm gonna um, click here on keep and let me see if i have already installed uh, java but i guess that i, I, don't, I don't right as you can see here uh, i have opened the command prompt i just come to this uh, find um, search bar and click or actually look for cmd i'm gonna click on command prompt and as you can see i I type here java-v and I don't have any um, command or it is not recognizing this command it should return uh, the JDK, JDK version that I have installed in the computer and as you can see right now I, I don't have any Java installation done uh, for this particular moment all right I'm gonna come here I'm gonna click on the downloaded uh, file and I'm gonna click on yes all right Let me see what the next step i'm gonna click here next uh, yes i want to have this installed in c program files java jdk and let me see how it works let's wait for a few seconds and i guess that it is done right now we have jdk installed in our computer and i'm gonna try to uh, open up again the cmd i'm gonna see if the java has been installed expected and fine however um let me see version actually all right, we have. <laughs> it says that we have um, downloaded and installed Java as expected. You can see he here that I have the um, Java version 11.0.8, which was the, the version that I wanted to have installed. However, I want to cover and I want to make sure that I have since the variables and the environment variables um, set and pointing out to the correct path. All right, how we can see this? We can come here also in the search bar and I'm gonna look for environment variables and I have this uh, this finding which is edit the system environment variables right and I'm gonna click again here in environment and variables and we have two different uh, kind of configuration variables all right we have system variables down here and I have user variables at the top of the window um, what I have to do is um, create two variables uh, at the in in both places and Java home as you can see here and after I have named the variable name this um, user variable I'm gonna look for the path where the JDK was installed so it was in C program files I guess in Java mm -hmm. JDK 11 and here is the installation path uh, that we have uh, decided to uh, where we have decided to install the, the software right so I'm gonna click, come here and click the path to the variable value and I'm gonna make the same thing over here down here in the um, system variables over here and after that I click on new all right Java home 
I may maybe make, uh, making some mistakes uh, since this is a kind of uh, this is a kind of do the a thing that I uh, <laughs> don't do uh, occasionally. However, I guess that it should be working as expected right now. And actually, the variable or actually we can find the Java version. And um, this is an extra step that will make you. Um, We'll make sure that you have Java installed as expected, all right? And that's it. I guess that we have covered the JDK installation and how we can download and install JDK uh, for your computer. After that, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna look for Jenkins in Google, all right? Let me see, Jenkins. I'm gonna click on the first uh, result and after that I'm gonna click on download after that you can see here that we have an LTS version 2 which is the stable one for right now and I am gonna look for the Windows version to download the software you can see here that it is gonna download it is gonna take like one minute it is gonna depend on your internet speed, right? And once this is actually downloaded, I'm gonna, gonna I'm going to click on it and click on it. And what it, what what we have here is the installation wizard, and we're gonna just click on next, next. Um, right now we have two different options here: logon type, and right now I don't have a local or domain user, so I'm gonna click on the first option, which is run services local system. Um, that's the step that I'm gonna follow right now. I'm gonna look for the port where I want to get Jenkins working, and um, I have test the port which is free right now, and we can use it. And I'm gonna click on next. Uh, I'm gonna uh, look for the JDK that we have already installed in the in the system. It is pointing to the to the correct path, so I don't have to uh, make any change. However, if you don't see the path correct here, you just come here, change, and look for it in the in the location that you have it installed, all right? So I'm gonna click on next, and firewall exception. Um, I guess that it is fine, yes. Mm -hmm. And next, and then install. We click on yes. It is saying that it's starting system or services actually. We click on finish and it should be uh, opening uh -huh, the localhost um, URL or actually the, the server uh, that we have installed. And as you can he see here, we have a kind of unlock Jenkins page where we, ha where we have to um, like enter the administrator password all right it is located in this path and i'm gonna try to uh, show you where it is exactly uh, or how you can find it actually it is located at this pc in my particular case is in c windows uh, system 32 here mm -hmm. and then config mm config here and we click on continue we need to <laughs> get inside of it after that we get inside of system profile uh -huh. we click on continue we need to get inside of it app data local jenkins that jenkins mm -hmm. secrets <laughs> and after that we have the initial admin password over here we can open it with notepad and this is the current or actually the first password uh, to get jenkins working in your computer it should be work uh -huh, it should work actually and i'm gonna save this password i need it and you can uh, have kind of customized installation just selecting the plugins that you want to install however this is a basic uh, tutorial installation and we're gonna click on install suggested plugins right and it is actually downloading them it is creating the folders and then there it is gonna download all the uh, plugins or the, or the basic plugins that we need to get installed in in um, Jenkins so we are gonna uh, wait for a few seconds all right welcome back uh, right now um, we have the opportunity to create the first admin user so right now i'm gonna create it i'm gonna name this uh, username as Media, and i'm gonna create a, a kind of a dummy password 
which is gonna be in test one two three four it is just a kind of dummy data and this is a kind of um, installation to test different technologies and I hope that this installation helped me to get you introduced in the Jenkins usage uh, to get Tescafe or Selenium scripts working in a pipeline in the near, in near future. So it is just a kind of um, dummy data and that's why I'm just uh, entering this kind of password, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna click on save and continue. I need an email address and I'm gonna get my um, email address. So, uh, gmail.com, right? And I'm gonna click and save and continue. And the Jenkins URL, you can uh, enter the um, URL that you want to get or that you want to have actually. And I'm gonna get Joe Media, all right? This is the local host that I'm gonna uh, need. The, uh, the URL actually to get inside Jenkins. So I'm gonna click on start using Jenkins. I'm gonna enter to um, Jenkins here and you can, as you can see here, we have installed Jenkins in Windows 10. So um, yes, that's basically it. That's how we can install Jenkins in Windows. I, I hope that you uh, get the idea and this is a kind of uh, basic tutorial to get Jenkins in your Windows 10 installed for your, uh, for your own testing, all right? If you want to start using or and making some tests in Jenkins localhost, you can do it in this particular way. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope that you can find it useful. Please subscribe and like, let a like if you find this useful, and it helps you out with some kind of installation issue. So uh, thank you again. My name is John Media. I hope that. Uh, we can see you in the next video and see you soon. Goodbye.